Hello, this is Reverend Gary Kennedy with today's Spot of God. It's a moment to reflect about God and think about our Christian faith, our Christian walk. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about prayer. Prayer is quite natural for me because, well, like some of you, I was taught to pray at a young age. For me, prayer was communicating with God, lifting up concerns, uh, learning to thank God for what we all receive, and, and uh, to listen to God as well. Over the years, I've learned, though, that not everyone had been taught about prayer early on. And some people who uh, were newer to the church, newer to faith, uh, needed to learn about God at a later time uh, than, than I did. And so it's important for us to understand what prayer is. And whether you're a child learning from your parents or as, as an adult learning in church, prayer is communication with God. The Reverend Billy Graham, the late evangelist, once shared about how prayer in his way of thinking was like a child learning to speak for the first time. And mom and dad were so grateful for any word out of the child's mouth. When a baby first spoke, it was such a big deal. And, and for that baby to communicate with a word or two was such joyfulness for the, the parents. It's that way with prayer, too. Uh, I don't think God expects us to have long sentences or long prayers, just like the parents don't expect their baby to have long sentences, but simply to communicate, uh, to, to share a word or two. What a beautiful beginning that is. And, and that's what prayer is. Prayer is listening. Prayer is talking. Prayer is being sensitive to the presence of God. Uh, Jesus talked to his disciples about prayer. You'll remember they asked him point blank, uh, teach us how to pray. And he gave them a model, which is a basic format uh, that we can use, that we're saying that prayer and saying other prayers, or simply being in conversation. So I want to just pray with you the Lord's Prayer. Let's be in an attitude of prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. That's what prayer is. Scripture talks about going in your room by yourself, or going in your closet by yourself. Prayer is talking to God one-on-one. -on -one. And if ever you're comfortable to pray in front of other people, it's sharing of that, uh, that spiritual experience. If you're having a meal uh, with family to pray, it's to simply say, we can all thank God for what we have before us. Or we can all thank God for being with us in this larger setting, Bible study, or so forth. Talk to God. Listen to God. Number one, be sensitive to God. And that's our beginning. That should be our beginning every day. May God bless you.